Welcome to the second part of the root causes for happening of Ramayana. In the previous part, episode, it was said that Kundalini energy was described as, as an unconditional nourishment, unlimited nourishment. So in that case, what could have led to the depletion of such a unconditional energy source in Treta Yuga, triggering incarnation of Rama. After getting the the boon from Brahma, Ravana travels to Kailash, Mount Kailash, and makes a makes a uh, makes a contact with his fingers, the base of Mount Kailash or the Muladhara of Kailash. So, in that, in that, um, um, in that situation, Chalana Parvata Chaiva Gana Devasya Kampita Chachala Parvati Chapi Tadas Lishta Maheshwaram Mount Kailash, which was the tower or the powerhouse of cosmic energy for the entire universe, experiences tremors as Ravana was drawing unconditional Kundalini energy nourishment. The tremors did not happen immediately. So this has happened nearly after thousand years of constant drawing of this nourishment like a like a straw he was drawing like using the straw we drink drink uh, we drink juice similarly he was drawing unconditional nourishment continuously for thousand years so in that situation the tremors were felt in mount kailash as valmiki has uh, mentioned in this sloka kampita then Chachala Parvati Chapi Tadaslishta Maheshwaram. Even Parvati, who was in meditation, she got disturbed with this uh, astonishing act of Ravana. Now, it, uh, with, it was mentioned that Mount Kailash is the powerhouse of the ener- uh, Kundalini energy source for the entire universe. What is the what are the um, are there any proofs for that so this nourishment which was meant for the entire universe for all the living beings for the entire plant species was stolen by Ravana alone this has happened for thousand years Vagardha viva sampruktho Vagardha pratipattaye Jagatapita rovande Parmati parameshwaram Vande parvati pa Rameshwaram As per Mahakavi Kalidasa, Parvati and Parmeshwara are the representatives of the universal parents. What are the qualities of being a parent? Unconditional nourishment and unconditional compassion. This is the only definition of a being, of a perfect parent. It doesn't matter whether child misuses the nourishment or uses the nourishment properly. The only quality of being a parent is to be unconditional. And it was with this quality that Parvati provided unconditional nourishment that was meant for the entire universe of Kundalini energy to Ravana for thousand years. The nourishment meant for the entire universe was stolen by one individual called Ravana. Perhaps the greatest robbery in the history of man, mankind. The entire, you know, the, the entire humanity 
went into overdraft situation because of this astonishing act. The potency levels have diminished, have virtually become zero. This extraordinary effort, effort of Ravana led to the depletion of the sources and as a result the impatience and chaos prevailed in the world. This led to the collapse of the wheel of dharma and the shadow of illusion or maya influence happened at its at, uh, prevailed at its strongest. This was an unprecedented situation, a real emergency situation and requires emergency measures. The question is, what form super soul should assume to restore the normalcy situation? So we have understood uh, why there are depletion of the, the there was a depletion of the kundalini energy source in Treta Yuga. Now the question is what form the super soul should assume towards the restoration of the normalcy. Ravana while putting forth his conditions seeking boon from Brahma mentioned except chimps that is Vanaras and humans remaining through the remaining forms uh, he demanded that he would remain immortal this is an in- this is a very interesting um, analysis uh, to explore further so it must be said by the time ravana was receiving boon from brahma um, it was fair to say that ravana did not encounter neither humans nor chimps. That was the only reason why Ramana did not mention either of them. To prove this hypothesis, Ramana while encountering Nandishwara in Kailas, while encountering Nandishwara, he belittles him as chimp. While Nandishwara was a human form, Ravana makes fun of him as a chimp. This indicates that Ravana did not have acquaintance with neither humans nor chimp till that time. And that was the reason why Ramana did not mention either of them while seeking boon from Brahma. Hence, uh, to restore the balance and retrieve the lost treasure of Kundalini energy on planet Earth, Super Soul need contribution from human as well as chimp forms. So for the super soul to descend, he or she has to assume human or chimp forms or both of them. So in addition to this, the previous incarnation to Rama, which was Parasurama, indulges in massacre on Kshatriyas by erasing the impatience from them, from their genes for 21 21 generations. This is another another interesting point. Why did Parasrama indulge in such such a massacre? Kshatriyas belong to king community and supposed to rule kingdom like father. We have already discussed the the qualities of being a parent. But instead, Kartavirya Arjuna and his sons indulges in killing of Saint Jamadagni. Saints are supposed to be neutral elements and they play a vital role to establish, to make sure the, the balance between positive and negative energy polarities maintained. So, the the king who is supposed to be like a father, nurturing these neutral elements, instead, Kartavirya Arjuna and his sons kills the neutral element called Jamadagni. Now, Parashurama, son of Jamadagni, took upon the task himself 
of the res- of this restoration by erasing the mismatch signs from kshatriyas kshatriya community for 21 generations after this extraordinary feat of parashurama how to verify that kshatriya community were not having this impatience these signs are completely disappeared from their genes how do we verify that dasaratha who belongs to the community of kshatriya community was not having children due to the depleted state of kundalini energy the the underlying force in kama sutra act of kama sutra is kundalini energy so that it's a, that uh, that is depleted so there was he was not having children in spite of having 350 wives further through the saint sanat kumara ravana hears about the glory of lord vishnu and decides upon himself that if he wants to perish if he wants to die it will be through the hands of lord vishnu hence the verification test post to the extraordinary massacre feat of parashurama the wish of ravana the wish of dasaratha to bear children at the age of 60000 years and the responsibility to restore the wheel of dharma through proper match state of karma achana all these reasons led to the incarnation of rama so ravana and dasaratha both of them got in more than what they had wished for dasaratha wanted a wanted dynasty ikshvaku dynasty to continue but uh, instead he got a super soul assuming body taking upon the metal similarly ravana did not mentioned human and chimps in the list of immortality to brahma and having heard from vishnu uh, having heard about vishnu wished his termination through vishnu form so both of them they got more than what they deserved so in addition to this uh, it has to be verified it has to be verified that uh, impatient signature was also erased from the kshatriya kshatriya community hence rama descended as kshatriya along with bharata lakshmana and satrugna are there any other reasons for incarnation of rama utpatyate kule hasmin vikshakunam mahatmanam ramo dhasar dignam yaste pranan harishyati this was the last word spoken by anaranyu to ravana before his death anaranyu was was a predecessor of rama several generations prior to rama he was defeated by ravana in in war and ravana belittled san anaranyu while anaranyu accepts the defeat he could not accept the belittling so he says i will accept the defeat you have defeated me up to that is fine but it doesn't matter that you by it doesn't it doesn't mean you can be little the entire dynasty of ikshvaku just by defeating me you you are not, you are not qualified to be little the, the entire dynasty so do listen to me rama will appear as son of dasaratha and will drive away the life force from you or he will kill you this was the the last word of anaranyu the um, king belong to rikshaku dynasty so in addition to this lord vishnu promised manu in krita yuga raguna manvaye purvam raja dasaradho vyabhut raghavam pradamam kausalya samabhutvaryam patni dasaradha sahi 
so this was the promise by lord vishnu to manu that he will appear as dasarada son in tridayuga similarly saint gautama after cursing his wife ahalya explains her the solutions solution to overcome the effect of this uh, the curse yada chait यदा चैतध्वनम घोरम रामो दशरदात्मज आगमिष्यति दुर्दर्शस्तदा पूता भविष्य अंटिल द अरैवल ऑफ रामा इन दिस आश्रम यू मीनिंग अहल्य हैव टू बी कवर्ड विथ ऐश सर्वैविंग विथ ओनली द एयर एलिमेंट दट मीन्स ओनली ओनली शी इज एबल टू ब्रीथ दट्स ऑल so rama had the re- responsibility to satisfy so many individuals and satisfy so many conditions and above all had to restore the balance of dharma had to erase the impatience of mother earth restore the lost treasure of kundalini energy and demonstrate to the common man how to perform a match state of karma acharana hence rama chose the ninth day of first half of lunar month for his arrival nine means five senses plus four faculties combined so they these five senses and four faculties play a very cru- crucial role in karma acharana execution of the karma acharana in this manner for 11000 years rama like an ordinary human performed karma acharana in match state of dakshinachara thank you